Hey guys and welcome to week 58 in our Road to Max series. I'm starting out doing a little bit of combat. A little bit slow because I'm solo at the minute but just getting things ready and prepped trying to get uh, combat levels up a little bit. So strength is up and attack should go up in a minute. We have got a little bit of a difference between the two but not much. So it shouldn't take long to actually level attack as well. But I thought if I can try and get these up a little bit now, because combat is so fast anyway, I don't really need to use any like double XP time or bonus XP or anything like that. So I thought I'd work on that now because they have announced that double XP is coming soon. I think it was the 3rd of May. So they're going to do an extra long one. Um, same amount, we still get the 48 hours, but it's going to be three weeks long, so gives us plenty of time where I don't have to like grind too much like every single day, so that'll be a little bit easier. So I want to try and get everything as close as possible to the same level, hopefully 97 if I can, uh, and then I can spend double XP working on uh, max, hopefully. So. I'm going to be doing a little bit more grind than usual, especially on some of the slower skills, and try and see if we can max during double XP. Okay, so I just checked my chest and we've got over 31 mil now. So I thought I'm going to bank all this and I need to start upgrading my gear anyway. So we're going to go start uh, by selling all this, I think I'm going to disassemble the common uh, relics instead of uh, alking them. But thought we've got a lot of other stuff here we can sell. So I thought I'll sell all this, see how much we can get, and we're going to upgrade our melee gear first. So I'm probably going to go straight for masterwork. Unfortunately, I can't make it, but if we sell this, it should get us almost what we need to buy a full set. Okay, so still grinding away here. It's probably going to be quite a while I'm doing this. Um, I've got a group now, which makes it a little bit faster, but it is so much better with decent melee gear. Obviously, I'm still going to have the tier 70 range and mage stuff for a while, but it does make it a lot easier. We've just got 97 strength, which means attack is coming any seconds. There we go, 97. So one more level to go and then we can stop with melee until double XP starts. So last clip for now of me doing Elite Dungeons trash runs, I promise, because we don't just want a full episode of this. But we're about to level up once again. Um, I did get a lamp for attack, so that kind of overtook a bit, but there's attack at 98 and now strength at 98 which means after this run, it's time for me to head out and switch up to something different. So chilling out, doing a little bit of agility. I thought I wanted to get the nimble hood um, for double XP. So I've got the full outfit then. And we're almost leveled up to 96 now anyway. Uh, I know Anachronia is faster, but I still need all the laps for the agile set. So I thought I'd come and do a little bit of this. See if I can get the, uh, the whatever his name is, the dude that lets us access the pit uh, to shout me and hopefully get the nimble hood. But unfortunately, I'm not doing too good. I'm not having much luck. I did get one call into the pit and didn't get the hood. And I've been here about an hour now and not been called or had access to it again. So... That is our level up to 96. We're going to keep going. I have got my silver hawks in the bank, which actually, I think I've got more feathers than I actually need. So I could go put them on now, even though I've not got double XP. I don't really like to use them off double XP, but I could go put them on uh, and try and get it up a little bit higher. I know I promised I was done with Elite Dungeons for this week, but, you know, we had to come back and do some more. And there we go, 98 Magic's done. So, yeah, combat's doing really well. Um, 
back to doing a bit of soul again, but it's fine. We've got 98 range done, 98 magic done, and 98 defense done, which means all our main combat um, stats are all 98. They are ready to go for double XP. We already had 98 Slayer, so we don't have to worry about that. The main balance is going to be um, for leveling them all at once. The main balance is going to be combat with Slayer and combat with Dungeoneering. So I kind of have to um, balance them out a bit to make sure I don't accidentally get one of them first. If it means I have to uh, ask for some help with Dungeoneering and do a little bit of leeching so I avoid combat, then I'll have to do that. Okay, so for the end of the league, I'm just doing a little bit of AFK skilling. We just got to 98 fire making, which gave us um, our fully leveled up uh, pyromatic, but I can't disassemble that because that will then get 99 invention, uh, or too close to it. So um, we're just working our way through. We've still got a few things at 96, but we are slowly getting things up to 98, uh, ready for double XP. Uh, I was kind of skipping over the 97 and just been leveling everything twice, which is uh, kind of useful for the slow ones. I don't want to keep recording or going back and two, but it's time for some wood cutting now. I have been, when I've not been grinding wood cutting, I've been using the outfit just to do that little evil tree, mini evil tree thing. Um, but I'm going to join the evil tree friend chat. I really need to upgrade that actually. Actually, that is what I'm going to do first. Before I do wood cutting, I'm going to go and chill out at harps while I'm not too close to 99. Get 4,000 harmonic dust so I can upgrade my hatchet first, and then we'll go and focus on some wood cutting. Okay, so 4,000 harmonic dust, that took quite a while. Um, yeah, it's a bit slow, unfortunately, but it's AFK, so I can't really complain. So let's shove that in the bank, withdraw, where is it, our hatchet, we might as well put our wood cutting stuff on straight away now, since that's where we're going to be going, and I think that's everything we need, so luckily we're right next to where we need to go, let's go and make our crystal hatchet, I think we have to talk to it, don't we? Uh, can you make me check for tools in my backpack? What do you mean? Uh, oh, it's augmented, so I have to use it on. I don't know. Use. There we go. Augmented crystal hatchet. So that will make wood cutting just a little bit faster. Unfortunately, there is no higher level uh, hatchet at the minute, so that's the best we can do. But at least we are already 96. Still a bit of a grind to go with like wood cutting and fishing and mining and room crafting. But hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult to get them up. At least they are pretty AFK. So I'm going to go join the evil tree friend chat now. Try and find an evil elder tree. Then I can get some of that auto bank in. I'll go down to portables and do my divine use for the day. Just anything that will get them as fast as possible. So just doing a little bit of, um, well, having a little bit of break from wood cutting for now. Um, do my D and Ds because uh, there's a couple I forgot and they reset in a couple of days. It's the 29th of April right now, so I want to get make sure. Uh, the monthlies are all done and I completely forget about this. I thought about it, was it last week or the week before? Uh, I think I actually mentioned it in, in the video um, that you can get room crafting XP from here and I just completely forgot so I thought I'll come and do it now um, and then bring a monthly reset so I can do it again. I didn't bring the reset so I have to go bank anyway but never mind. But these give a really good amount of um, room crafting XP. So it might actually level us up to 97 if we're lucky with the bonus XP we've got. It probably doesn't double on double XP, so I'll just come back and do it on the first. But if we can get two runs of it today, 
um, and then on the first we can come back and do two runs of it again. You know, it's a it's a decent amount of it rune crafting XP where I don't actually have to go into the rune span. I'm still going to be doing um, the rune sphere, if not daily, then as much as possible, and using my uh, yellow wizard teleports just to level it as fast as possible. But this just a nice little bonus rune crafting XP while not doing rune crafting. So 97 woodcutting achieved. I did an evil elder tree. Um, I'm actually quite lucky doing it this week because it's the skilling. No, D and D and D week thing that they've got all. You know they've got those extra things all like, all during April. Mm -hmm. So I can do three evil trees a day. If I do an evil elder tree, that gives me is it 34 minutes? I think it was something like that. Um, about half an hour anyway of auto banking. So it's actually leveling up woodcutting quite fast because I've just I'm just kind of chilling in the evil tree friend chat and then when an evil elder tree shows up I'll go do that to get the woodcutting XP from that I just have to be careful not to get much fire making XP from it but I've been doing that and then as soon as I've got the rewards banking them teleport into the VIP area and just auto banking Acadia logs so we're getting some decent XP We've got 97 so far, so I'm going to go check out the Ark and the uh, the Golden Bamboo and then probably go back to do some more Evil Trees. So this week is actually turning into a pretty decently mixed up week. I'm not grinding too much um, at specific things. Doing a bit of divination now, just on the cash. Um, trying to keep up with using these extra D&Ds we've got for the week. So trying to do three caches a day, trying to do three evil trees a day, just the things that I really need um, the XP on and it helps a lot. So I've just, well I've been with the friend chat, so I've just um, just left the core hunting, now I've got a full inventory. So I thought I'd throw these in now and that should level us up to 97. I filled the storage bot at the same time which helped. Um, and I'll probably come back here just before double XP which starts in three days. Um, so maybe the night before or a couple of hours before, I'll come in here and fill up a full inventory of jars then. And as soon as double XP starts, we'll just start with throwing them all in um, before we go do some other stuff. But 97 divination done. So let's move on to get in something else. What else have we got? We've got agility still at 96. We've got fletching still at 96. And we've got mine and still at 96. And I think that's it. So I'll go do some fletching for now. So, so far we have 97 fletching and 97 agility achieved. And there is 97 mining. That means now we have everything 97 or 98. Minus archaeology and constitution, of course. We don't count them. Um. So now... Yeah, so now the grind is to get everything to 98. Uh, I'm, double XP starts in two days, so I don't know whether we'll get everything to 98 before double XP, but we'll really work on it and see how close we can get to everything already at 98. If not, then that'll be our start of double XP. 98 fishing. Oh, there is a big lag spike. I forgot to keep an eye on my fishing level and didn't have uh, my recording software open so I was trying to open and start recording at the same time so I apologise for the lag but 98 fishing achieved I did some fishing frenzy for a little bit and then just came and did the last 100k AFK up here because my arm was hurting so 98 fishing achieved let's move on to the next one next is hunter and this is a nice easy one because I have so many protein traps it is unbelievable. I'm just doing the Draconic Jadinkos because there's so many people at the other ones that give a little bit more XP, whatever they're called, that I don't really bother going there. We might as well come here for the amount of proteins I've got available. And there we have 98 Hunter. These levels are looking very nice right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten levels left at level 97. And 
not long left till double XP starts. It is the first today, it is the evening of the first, but today we've got 397s, so I'm quite happy with today's progress. So next skill ready for 98, I did get rune crafting done earlier and started divination as you can see by my inventory and then just did a trot hour and some seren stones for 98 mining. It is the third today which means double XP starts in a couple of hours so I'm grinding away. We still do have some skills at 97 but that shouldn't be too difficult to get up. But I'm going to keep grinding away and then just before double XP kicks off I'm going to go finish filling my inventory with these jars to kick off with divination XP. And there we go, double XP is live. We have our inventory of um, jars ready to start with some divination. There is our 48 hours done at the top. So that now is my goal. I have now got officially 48 hours of playtime left and I'm going to be maxed before that runs out. I'm determined to make the most of this double XP now we're getting so close. We are almost all at 98, which means once we've got these last few levels up to 98, we're going to be grinding them all down within maybe 100k or 50k of 99, then slowly getting them down below so a lamp will level it up. That's the, the goal. I've got plenty of oddments um, saved up for that, so I'll be able to use like one lamp on each skill. And then I don't know what we're going to do after we get that. I'm planning on live streaming the max um, thing, so by the time this is released I might already have achieved it if, well, if I'm good enough, depends on um, how the grind goes and if baby stays put or decides to come early, hopefully not. But we're going to keep going. Divination, that didn't quite get us to 98, but we can do that later. Let's use this on room crafting. So we can come back later and pause it and get another inventory that will get us to 98. Um, so let's go work on one of the other skills. So back doing some proteins again, I did go up to the efficiency experts citadel to the portables um, to do 98 fletching. So we've got fletching sorted and there is construction sorted. Now I know it is a bit of a waste using proteins on fletching, but I've got that many that, yeah, I, I don't care. It, it was very AFK, means I can do it while I'm cooking and stuff like that. So don't have to waste time there. So 98 construction is done, 98 fletching is done. We still have 97 prayer. I'm waiting for heffing hour. Hopefully that will be the next one because it's been a couple of hours since I've seen it. And we have agility and summoning. So I'm going to do a little bit of summoning now. Um, I still don't have the top for the shaman's outfit, unfortunately. But that's fine. We've got plenty of charms from getting our combat skills up. Um, they don't give summoning XP, so I don't need the effigies. I don't know what I need. I've got lots of room bars so I can make room minotaurs. I've got some lots of the obsidian charms so I could make lava titans. Um, I'm going to have to go see what would be best to use them on. So still chilling out and we're about to level up. I've been making rune minotaurs and I don't know what's going on, but the spirit rubies are like triggering all the time and I'm barely using any charms. Um, luckily I've got loads of them. That and the uh, shaman's head thing, outfit thing is triggering quite a lot. So I've saved, saved quite a lot of blue charms just doing this so far. But there is 98 summoning. I think I'll still keep going for now because we've got so much stuff and it is still Amlod. And we're going to have to level it later anyway. And so... Um, we might as well get it down a little bit closer. I don't know, maybe maybe we can get it within half a mil or even closer if possible. We might as well we might as well make the most of the voice of Sarah and Wyatt here. So next skill, 98 divination. I hope you guys are with me and still with all these jump cuts. This has been a crazy week for leveling up. Um so 98 divination is done. 
I just paused it for an hour while I filled up my inventory. What is next? So we've still got agility to get up, which is 97. I've still not <laughs> managed to get a heffin hour. Um, last time it switched to heffin, I went to do prayer and then I had to go to kids and stuff. So they're the two things we have left at 97. So let's go see if um, we can do prayer, please be heffin. Yes, heaven hour. And we only have 25 minutes left of it, so let's go make the most of that and see if we can get to 98 prayer. So I'm woodcutting away now. I lost a couple of um, clips, so unfortunately we didn't um, see a couple of the levels up. But as you can see now, I've got 98 agility. I had my silver hope boots on while doing other stuff, did a little bit of anachronia. We got 98 prayer. We didn't get it in the first half an hour because I missed most of it, but I went back uh, and did it again. So prayer is now 98. So everything is now 98. So my goal is getting everything below 100k maybe a bit less i don't know maybe 50k 70k something like that from 99 i don't want to get too close just in case i accidentally get one to 99 which you know would make me cry don't want to do that after all the work and and then we can max we still have 30 something hours i can't don't know lots of hours i can't see because if it's in the middle of the screen and i can't move it um, so we still have a lot of hours of double XP, so actually, you know, this grind hasn't been too bad, so I think I was a bit, um, I thought I was a bit optimistic trying to get it all maxed within double XP, but it seems like we're going to have quite a few hours left over after we have maxed. But we're on the final countdown now. So for this week, we're not quite going to reach max, but we are counting down the final. So check out next week's episode. That should be our max one. But it is the end of this week. I'm grinding out a little bit of combat. Unfortunately, solo because no one else is here at the minute. So just getting our combat as close as possible to 99. But that is all I've got time for, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next week for the finale.